Hi everybody, it's James here. This is just a short video to show you guys how to export financial data from Bloomberg, which is gonna be very helpful for the upcoming sessions. Hakan showed you guys how to do this briefly, but it's a bit uh, finicky, so I thought I'd have a video just to explain how to do this. So I followed Hakan's guide and I'm on the uh, web version of the Bloomberg terminal. So it should look something like this. If we type in the company that we want to get the financial data for, let's say Apple, you can search for Apple. And then we can select Apple. We're going to want the financial analysis. So we type in the command F8. And then we have here all the financial statements. So for the upcoming week, we're going to be focusing on the income statement. So let's select the income statement. And in this, we can choose lots of different things we can change. So we could change the periods, we could change the currency. But for the purpose of this video, let's just leave everything as it is and focus on exporting this. So if we export this to Excel and we have the current template, what it's going to do is going to open Excel in within the virtual environment. And what we want to do is you want to export this to our own computers. But the issue is, if you look at um, one of these cells, just wait for them to load, um, you can see that this is uh, actually quite a complicated formula. And this uses the Bloomberg Excel add-in, which is only available on the Bloomberg terminals. So if we exported this as it is to our own computers, when we open it up in our version of Excel, um, we're gonna have some errors. So what we want to do is we want to just copy all of this information here and then copy this and then let's make a new sheet and we want to paste special but and we want to paste the formatting and the values. And now you can see that if we go onto a value, it's no longer one of these formulas, it's just the value. So let's save this in our virtual environment. Let's call this Apple. And then what we want to do is we want to export this to our own computer. So there's a little menu up here. If we click this, we have a few options. So the one that we're concerned about is we want to download files from the virtual environment onto our own computers. We can also upload files and then there's settings if you have different monitors and clipboard preferences and then just general settings. So let's click download and we want to select the file that we want to download. So let's download the Apple workbook and then this will download onto my computer. So now we can open this up and you can see that this has worked because we have all the values nice here and then we can begin analyzing this data. However, if we look at the income statement that was first exported from Excel, we can see that we have lots of errors. So that was this video, just guys quickly show you guys how to export financial data in Excel, which is gonna be very useful for the session in the upcoming week. Um, I hope this was useful. See you guys on Monday and Tuesday.